Hey everybody, welcome back to our maintenance and farms video. If you want to see an oil change in this truck, you're in the right place. So today I'm going to be changing the oil in our semi. This is a freight liner. Um, it's got the Detroit engine in it, but anyways, it's going to be put, changing the oil in it. I already drained it last night, it was still warm, and I got the oil filters done, but I need to put oil back in it, and then try the tire pressure, check all the lights, and just do that kind of stuff. Hopefully we have enough oil. We're running low. So I hope I have enough. I probably won't. Yeah, let's get to it. All right, so I'm filling the oil can now. It's coming out really slow. This thing's getting really low on oil. Got the cap on top. Awesome. I should speed it up a little bit, but this truck takes 10 gallons of oil, so I'm gonna put 11 in it. Not 11, I'm gonna put seven in it. No, I'm gonna put eight in it. What am I saying? I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying, but anyways. I'm gonna put eight in it and then check it on the dipstick and then put nine in it, check on the dipstick and so on and so forth and just until we get to like right before the, right below the full mark. And so yeah. All right, so I got eight quarts in the oil container and over here on the passenger side of the truck is where you fill it. I put a board underneath it so that way the oil goes down better. But before I forget, I should probably put the drain plug in. So I already changed the oil filters and I already drained the oil. So I didn't get that on camera. We'll keep some underneath the truck now and put the plug back in. Oh boy. It's a tight bit underneath here. Gotta wipe it off so it's nice and clean. Put that back in. Oh. oh gosh, tight fit underneath here. I wish I came up from the other angle, but I didn't. Just if I can get a hand on it. Alright, there we go, get the oil plug in. Okay, so my sister had a low tire, but I got that filled up for her. So I got the drain plug in now. So that shouldn't leak oil, I don't think. So I'll go ahead and I'll put that two gallons of oil in. And then be back with you. Okay, so I got two gallons of oil now. I don't see anything underneath the truck dripping or anything. So I must have did something right down there. So now I'll do that one more time. So hopefully I'll have enough oil in that oil container. But yeah. Okay, so I got six gallons in the semi. And I ran out in our bulk oil so it needs to be tipped ahead a little bit so i got the fork tipped underneath it right now it's about by a quarter inch off the ground you guys probably can't see it but i'll have to use the air hose blow a little bit of air in there help hopefully pressurize a little bit so hopefully this thing don't fall ahead on me that wouldn't be any good i got Eight gallon in the semi now, and it's on the dipstick right below the full mark. So I'm gonna leave that for now. I'm not gonna put our two gallon in it. We just need to run it, but I'm not gonna do that until we have the fuel filters in it, which is probably isn't gonna happen today. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put our bulk tanks down on the ground, get the forklift out from underneath it, put it back where it was because it kind of slid backwards a little bit. So then after that, I'll just 
Try the tire pressures, which I hate doing because, well, you'll see why probably in a little bit. Okay, so I got the forklift out from underneath the bulk oil. That went good. And I, get, I did the tire pressure in that front tire. I had problems with the valve stem on that, but I got that sorted out. Now I got the inside dual on this set of tires done. And now, as you can see right there, the valve stem is backwards. So it's a pain in the butt to get onto it. So it's eight of them. It's like that on eight of them all the way around. So we'll get it done. I got the Roku to listen to music, so. Okay, so I checked all the tire pressures in the tires now. Took a lot longer than I should have, probably because I was watching TikTok as I did it, but. Anyway, that's done now, so I'm gonna check the lights. Hopefully there's some battery power, because I know this thing needs new batteries, so I'll do that quick. All right, so I checked all the lights on the semi. They all worked except for two. I got one clearance light up on top of the cab that's not working, and then one brake light back here underneath the trailer thing. That one over there. So I'll see if I can work on them and see if I can get them working quick. All right, so I'm underneath the truck now and I get the light out. So I got a test light here. And if I put the heater right on the end, you can see it lights up. So there's power, there's power to it. So either the light bulb is bad or the light fixture is bad. So I'll see if I can figure it out. Okay, so I got that light pulled apart. Looks like the looks like it is the bulb that's bad, but I can't get the bulb out of it because it's like all I don't know how to explain it. But anyways, I think we're gonna have to get a new light for that. So now I'm gonna go into that uh, clearance light on top. I'm up on top of the semi now. As you can see, all these clearance lights work except for this middle one. And I know for sure it's the bulb because I put this bulb inside here, and it works. So I know there's power to that. So it's just this bulb. So you might have one down there by all our other bulbs. So I'll go look quick. All right, so we keep our, our spare bulbs in there. And it looks like I had one right there. So I'll go try it and see if it works. Oh, would you look at that? It works. Hopefully it's bright enough. So I'll put the cover back on and we'll see. All right, so it doesn't look like it's as bright, but it's pretty close. And there's four other ones, so it'll be fine. So hopefully we can get an, another light for that tail light. Okay, so basically there's six of these hubs all the way around. The drive tires don't have any. So there's six of these, four in the trailer, two in the front of the semi. So just wipe off all this oil. It'll take me a second. All right, so I wiped off all the oil. Take your flashlight, and you can see there's the oil level. It's a little bit overfilled, but that's fine because these are gonna leak a little bit. So I'll just have there's five of them all the way around the semi, except for those drive wheels. And we'll you can go into the next thing. Our 7600, that's our auger tractor. I need to put some antifreeze in it and do some check some oil on that. So I'm gonna do that quick before it gets too dark out, so that I can see in the shed. And that way that's done. All right, I'm out here in our shed now. This is our 7600. We plan with this tractor, we're running on the auger, and that's pretty much that all that did, does. It's got like 6,500 hours on it or something like that. So it's in really good shape for how old it is. But basically, I gotta check the hydraulic oil and transmission oil, which is right here. And I can see it, I don't know if you guys can, but it's right above the line and you're supposed to check that when it's warm. So that's, that's good to go. And up here's the engine oil. Right there, I gotta check that. And I gotta add a little bit of antifreeze because it's not even in the sight glass. So I'll do that quick and I'll meet you guys back in the shop. All right, so here's our checklist. On the 7600, we're all ready to go except we get to install a, a fan lockup kit. I don't know much about that. I just asked my dad all about that. He knows about that. I don't. But anyway, I just know we have to do that yet before we put it on the auger. 
and then the combine's ready to go. So I think the checklist is all done, except for a few things. So I'm gonna continue on the semi then now because I don't see why not. And I think the first thing I'm gonna do is take the power steering fluid because that's right here by me. So I'm gonna do that. Quick. All right, so I hit the power steering fluid that looks a little bit low. I'm gonna wait for my dad to put power steering fluid in it because I'm not exactly sure what it takes. I'm sure it just takes standard power steering fluid, but I want his okay for that. But other than that, that's good to go. I think I'm gonna check the differential oil in the front and rear and then grease it. I'm not gonna film any of me greasing because, well, I'm sure there's gonna be some cursing involved. All right, so two hours later, I got my dog with me. And there wasn't too many curse words. It actually went pretty good greasing it. it took, me like, it took me like two hours because, well, I took a break in between to eat some supper but now i'm gonna go i'm gonna open these traps up on both front and back and oil the tracks up and just spin over those uh what are they called those rollers and make sure they all roll nice make sure that's ready to go and then after that i'll check the differential oils make sure them got oil on them and at the right level so yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so I got the traps all oiled up on the tracks. Everything felt good. They all opened all nice and everything. There's no buildup or anything, so. Them are good to go. Trailer's greased. I think we're done with the trailer, actually. I think. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna check on the, ba the water level and the batteries, because I'm just kind of curious where those are at. All right, so I think I'm done the semi for tonight. I got a few few more things to do it do to it. I'm gonna do that tomorrow because it's starting to get late tonight. But I think I'm gonna clean up the shop a little bit and then call it a night. Shop all cleaned up now. Doing pretty good in here. Getting that stuff inside. But I thought two more things I'd like to do the semi tonight. 
I want to check them differentials, like I said. And then there's this broken piece in the cab that I want to fix. You'll see that in a little bit. But first, I'm going to do that um, differentials because I want to get that done because that sucks. Okay, so I'm underneath the truck now. I'm in the rear differential right now. I think it's this plug right here, top one, because I don't think it's that one there. Hope you guys can see that because I can't really look at the camera. So I'll get that open and see what that looks like. Okay, so I pulled that plug out on the differential and pulled it out and there's a bunch of metal grindings on it and the oil looks disgusting and it didn't look right. So I'm not gonna do the front one tonight or the one ahead of it, whatever you want to call it. And because I don't, I'm gonna wait for my daddy to look at this weird one and then see what he thinks. So I just will do it both when he's here. I'm gonna go do that part in the combine, not in the combine, in the in the cab of the truck, and then be done for the night. Okay, so last thing of the night on the semi is we got this suspension axle lower raise, whatever you want to call it. It broke off this switch. It's supposed to be like these two here, and I gotta figure out how I'm gonna fasten that on there. It really doesn't need to be on there, but I want it on there because, well, I wanna know what that switch is for and stuff like that. So, it's two torque screws, so I'll pull those out quick and then go from there. Okay, so I got it together on now. That's how it's supposed to look like now. So, I just put two washers in it, put the screws back in. So, that works good. And yeah, I'll meet you guys outside the semi. Okay, so I got the semi finished up now, before the night anyway. Got a few things left to do to it. Differential, just check all the fluids, and check the oil once again, and change the fuel filters, and then run it. Just kind of that kind of stuff. But other than that, I'm done done with this for the night. So yeah. All right, so I think I'm gonna end the video here. I go to school in like 30 hours, so it's coming real fast. Got one more day. Today is Saturday, or well, I guess it's probably Sunday now. Yeah, it's 12.02, so it's Sunday now. So I'm on my last day of summer officially, so. Kinda hurts to say, but what are you gonna do? So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on the semi. Hopefully we have something bad inside that differential, but. Anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed, like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. And tell your friends and family about this YouTube channel because that really helped me out. I'd really appreciate that too. So, yeah, until the next video, Mainston Farms, out.